Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Michigan Great Outdoors. A couple months ago I did a review on Spot Hogs Fast Eddy Excel. We got some good weather here in Michigan. So why don't you follow me as we site this site in and you can learn how to do it yourself. It's a great site, it's easy to do, it just takes a little bit of time. We got to make sure we get perfectly dialed in at 20. I got the site mounted. I took it to my local pro shop and they did the second and third axis uh, leveling. Uh, Adams Archery here in Milan, Michigan. They took care of me, so I got the site um, up as high as it'll go. That's where you want it for 20. Um, that way when you start dialing it down, you say you want to take shots at 100, you know, your bow's going to be up like this, your site will be further down. So make sure you start high when you're setting up for 20. Uh, so let's go outside to the range and get dialed in at 20 and uh, get this bad boy going. Let's get stuck in. The most important part about this first step is to make sure that you get sighted in at 20 yards precisely. Once we get sighted in at 20, we'll put our calibration scale here on the wheel. So it's very important that we're perfect at 20, elevation wise. All right, so I've taken about 30 shots now and I've adjusted uh, up a little bit. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. It's to the left, but that's something we can adjust later. Right now we're just looking to be dialed in elevation wise at 20 yards. So how this works with Spot Hog is they give you this calibration scale. You sight it in at 20 and then you sight it in at 60 and wherever you fall on this pointer here, top pointer, wherever this pointer falls it'll correlate to a sight tape number and they give you a book full of all these different sight tapes. The cool thing is, is if you ever need to get more you can order these you can get them at uh, spot hog you can get it at lancasterarchery.com um, your local pro shop might be able to order them for you so it's very uh, robust system here so all different sight tapes for all different speeds of bows all different risers all different setups all right so here's where the magic comes in so spot hog gives you the calibration scale so you're going to take one of these scales and you're going to cut it out and then you're going to put it here on your dial you're going to want that 20 yard spot right here to be pointed at this top dial precisely. Alright, so what we want to do is very carefully cut this calibration scale out. Alright, so we got our calibration scale cut out. I'm going to go ahead and mount it here on the, the bowl knob. But first I'm going to take one of these CVS lens wipes. Um, I use them on my glasses and my scopes or whatever. They got alcohol in them. And I'm going to clean this bowl knob wheel here just to make sure it's uh, free of any oils or any other deposits that might affect the adhesion of the calibration scale. Once you clean off with the alcohol, let it dry. So now we just got to peel off the, the backing here and stick it on. Try to get as perfectly on there as you can. But if it's not 100% perfect, which I got to move it a little bit, we can adjust this and get it just right. All right, so I got a 3 30 seconds Allen key here, and uh, we're going to loosen this up. And then we're going to get that pointer pointed perfectly right at the 20. All right, so I got it pretty darn close to 20. Um, it's kind of, you know, the way you look at it, it, it almost looks different from different views. Um, but I think that's as close as I'm going to get it and it's pretty darn close. You want to make sure when you do this that this double pointer is not resting in the bowl knob. All right, so next step is to walk this bad boy out to 60 yards. All right, so I got the sight mounted on the bow now with the calibration scale. Uh, I went out and I took three more shots just to make sure nothing moved. I want to make sure I'm good to go. Uh, just make sure if you're having a bad shooting day or if you're not really dialed in at 20, just give it a break and try it the next day or if it's real windy, um, you want to make sure that your your spot on at 20 or your spot hog ain't going to work right. So pro tip. All right, so we're going to loosen this screw here and then we're going to make a slight adjustment down a hair and first shot's at 30. pretty close to center so we're just gonna keep walking her out alright so we moved the target out further so we're gonna loosen our bull knob screw 
we're going to try to make the same adjustment moving the sight down tighten her up see where we're hitting and adjust from there all right so now we're at 50 we're going to make the same adjustment we've been making see where we hit All right, we're at 60. Same adjustment. We're gonna try to make the same, cut the difference what we've been doing. Now it's time to really focus. All right, we still need to come up some at 60, so we're gonna give her another adjustment here. Just a little bit and uh, see what that does. Take a look. All right guys, so this is our group at 60 yards. Um, after a bunch of fine tuning, I'm pretty happy with that group. It's about a four inch group of arrows at 60 yards. Um, we probably took about 300 arrows to get there. Um, but like I said at the beginning of this video, you cannot rush this. If you want to do it, you know, to the utmost precision, you definitely want to take your time and shoot a lot of arrows until you get that perfect group. And I'm pretty happy with this. Um, so I got a couple, you know, high a little bit and a couple low, but I got one right there in the bullseye. The other one's actually touching it, so I'm really happy with this group. This is the best group I've shot at 60 so far, so um, we're going to go ahead and put the, the sight tape on that the pointer was pointed at, which was sight tape 18, and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so through this calibration process, walking it out to 60, I ended up on number 18. So that's the sight tape I need in the book of sight tapes. We're going to get it put on the sight. Alright, so the one thing you want to make sure you do, or you'll be in a world of hurt, is you got to return this back to 20. We'll loosen our bowl knob screw, take her back to 20. You want to be pretty precise. And lock her back down. Make sure you get it set back to 20. Alright, so we're at the critical point here. we got to make sure that we get that 20 dead nuts on that, that purple pointer there. So be, take your time, go slow, and be real careful. Make sure you rub it down. So it's evenly, there's no air bubbles, and it's evenly placed. Alright, so once your side tape is mounted, it would be smart to go out and uh, check your arches, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then if you want to check your longer ranges, that would be a good time to do that too. It's ready to go. Alright guys, so we ended up here with a 4 inch group at 60, uh, it pointed to sight tape number 18. Um, you know, I wanted to mention that it took me 5 days to get here because the weather kind of turned crappy here in Michigan, it got real windy, uh, we didn't really have any good weather days, uh, I had one day where I just wasn't shooting good, so you really want to take your time when you're sighting in this sight tape. Uh, with the calibration scale but i'm real happy with this group that we have here at 60 yards and uh we're ready to rock well thanks for tuning into this video this week i hope it's helpful for you if you bought a spot hog fest at excel or any of the hog mob series sites uh, the hog father or the tommy hog this video should be able to help you site your site in um, quickly effectively and that's what you want you're looking for precision you're not looking uh, to be subpar, you, you want to make sure you do it the right way. Calibration scale at 20, sight in at 60, as best as you can. And if it takes five days like you took me, that's okay. Um, it's the, it's not even, it's May. So I got plenty of time uh, to practice archery this summer. 
but I wanted to make sure that I get it sighted in and make sure it's perfect. I got my sight tape on now, so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna test all my yardages. I'm gonna make sure I'm good to go. Um, and I'll go through and I'll check everything. I'll check 20, 30, 40, 50, uh, and then so on. So um, thanks for watching this week's episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the page. We appreciate the support, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, man, these mosquitoes are getting crazy. Oh, they got me in the back. I feel like in Louisiana. Ugh.